Hi guys, uh, this is the promised um, videos of the unboxings of the goodies I bought over the summer. Um, I had to redo everything because they're completely out of focus, the, the last lot I did. Um, so I'm going to attempt again, though I am doing this in the evening under the kitchen um, halogen spotlights, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So the first lot I've got here are the uh, National Fell Battalions. Uh, which are pretty much the Bavarian equivalent of Militia and uh, Landwehr. Uh, quick potted history, uh, 1808 they were requested to build up reserve forces to uh, fight within the, the borders of Bavaria. Uh, there were three classes, there was class one which were basically the depot, battalion, depot uh, companies of the uh, regular infantry. There was a class two which is the National Militz Mobile Legion uh, again, made up of single men between 19 and 36 and healthy um, men who were recently discharged from the, the regular line over the age of 45, sorry, under the age of 45. And, and then their remits were only to fight within the borders of, um, of Bavaria. And there were, I believe, nine administrative um, regions uh, called creases, I believe, with a K. Um, and each crease, depending on their size, was to uh, mobilise up to about four battalions. Um, in 1813, um, three of these battalions requested that they could fight beyond the borders of um, Bavaria, and this was granted, unsurprisingly, and they were became from the National Militz Mobile Legions became National Feld Battalions, and um, they fought alongside the regular army. They in the in the divisions uh, fought at the Battle of Hanau, and also in 1814 in France. Um, their uniforms originally in 1809 uh, it was basically their civilian uni uh, clothes um, but with a line backpack and webbing and a great coat over their uh, civilian uniforms and the shako then after the 1809 campaign uh, after the victory over Austria they requisitioned um, some equipment from the Austrian depots and um, you can see on these ones he's got the breeches and the gaiters now originally as they were from the Austrian um, depots and stores they were originally white with black gaiters now I've seen contemporary pictures of around about 1814 by respected artists uh, having blue breeches and black gaiters so even though I'd like the idea of representing the the requisitioning of uh, Austrian kit I am going to go with the blue breeches um, and it also distinguished them between them and the, the line infantry on the table um, so we've got here the command figures and the officer here the gorget, so drummer, with the swallow's nest, I don't know if you can see that, I'm trying to get my hand in the shadow, and then several NCOs uh, with the hazel cane at their hip there. Uh, I'll probably spread those out amongst the companies so that when they became National Fell Battalions in 1813 and to fight alongside the regular army um, they went from the four battalions of 170 per company sorry the four companies of 170 up to the six companies of 120 in line with the the regulars and also when they became uh, National Fell Battalions they were allowed to carry a, a standard so they were, there's a standard bearer in here yeah, minus pole at the moment and flag so they will get a Liebfahn at some point and some more
focusing. Mm -hmm. And then I wasn't originally going to get any uh, felt battalions, but you know Perry's made them. You know, Perry makes them. I'd find a good excuse not to buy them. Um, so here's the other so a battalion in their breaches, and then here in their campaign overalls again blue. So they'll be all blue figures because the line will have blue jackets and white campaign trousers. So I'm looking to, I've started painting these up already. Part of the black powder paint off challenge is going on at the moment. Um, the Perry figures are so detailed, they can be a little bit tricky to paint. Well, I'm finding them tricky to paint. Because um, the moulding process seems to struggle with the, the detail that Perry's have put in there. But, uh, no, I've got a couple of battalions, one in the, the breeches and gaiters and one in the campaign trousers. Uh, I'm going to put one in each um, brigade in the division I've got. Um, also on here, I've got the, the pom-poms, which um, will be company coloured as per the line. So hopefully, in the next month or so, I'll be able to show you a completely painted up unit. Alright then, I'll catch you in the next video. Laters!